Hello everyone. So our topic for today is all about quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals, okay? So, uh, as you know, quadrilaterals are four-sided figures. And lahat halos karamihan ng mga objects na nakikita nyo sa paligid nyo ay meron kayo makikita ng quadrilateral. Okay, halos lahat. Pero hindi naman lahat. So, let's start our discussion with quadrilaterals with a diagram or a concept map of all shapes that is quadrilateral. So, here we go. So, here we are. We have the quadrilateral. Then, uh, quadrilaterals are classified into three. Um, based on the number of parallel sides. So actually maraming versions ito kasi uh, magkakaiba sa bawat bansa. Um, according to one of our seminars, which I agree, kasi sa mga videos din na, panood, na napanood ko, meron silang uh, pinagkaiba. Specifically, dito po sa concept ng kahit. Okay, so dito po sa kite. Um, but for conformity, syempre, we will adapt what is being taught in, here in the Philippines. So let's proceed. So one of the classifications is the kite, of course. Another is the parallelogram. Mamaya po, i-discuss po natin lahat ng... Um, characteristics, including the theorems. So lahat na nakalagay na dyan. All you have to do is to listen or you might want to copy while um, watching this video. So, so parallelogram. Ayan. Then under parallelogram, we have the rhombus and the rectangle. Ayan. So hindi na po bago yung mga shapes na yan. And another form of quadrilateral is the trapezoid. Then a special type of trapezoid is the isosceles trapezoid. And we have the square. Uh, actually, the square is a combination of the rhombus and the rectangle. Combination po siya kasi po lahat po ng properties, lahat ng theorems na pwedeng apply sa rhombus and rectangle are also applicable for the square. At kung mapapansin po ninyo, mayroon pong line connecting the kite and the rhombus. So dito po naging unique ang kite dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, it's a matter of it's a it's a matter of the difference in the definition. So let's proceed. Okay. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Hello, options. Visible. So, quadrilaterals. Let's start with that. So here are the characteristics of quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles, obviously. So uh, that is derived from the word quadre or quad meaning four. Okay, so quad meaning four. And then we have lateral meaning sides. So, four-sided polygon. At dahil nga po four sides siya, automatically it will have four angles. Okay, so that is ano, universal. Then, the sum of its interior angles is equivalent to 360 degrees. Um, there is a formula actually para, para pumalaman kung, paan, uh, kung ano yung sum ng interior angles ng isang polygon. And that is denoted by the formula S is equivalent to 
and the product of okay 180 degrees and the difference of n minus 2 or n and 2 so n minus 2 quantity times 180 degrees or quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees so yan po uh, syempre dahil n ang ginamit po natin n will represent the number of sides Okay, so number of sides. Pwede, pwede nyo pong subukan yan. Okay, so and S of course is the sum of the interior angles. Dawal, dalawang variable lang po yung ginamit dyan. So kapag 4 yan, kapag 4 yung N, representing the quadrilaterals of course, 4 minus 2, that will be equivalent to 2, times 180, that is equivalent to 360 degrees. Okay. So let's get back to our chart. Okay. Our options visible. Let's get back to our chart. Let's have the parallelograms. Okay, the parallelograms. Characteristics of parallelograms. Take note, uh, I use the word characteristics simply because uh, the theorems, the properties discussed in the book uh, would characterize the um, the polygons okay so yun po yung reason pero um pare pareho lang po yan uh, as for my own opinion okay so it doesn't matter kung si man yan or property as long as uh, you are able to apply that in solving problems involving of course quadrilaterals so let's proceed it is a polygon with four sides and four angles, of course. Um, na mana po niya yan sa quadrilaterals. By the way, okay, let's get back to our chart. So, lahat po ng properties ng quadrilaterals, they are all applicable to the kite, parallelogram, trapezoid, rhombus, rectangle, isosceles, trapezoid, and square. So, just to give you an overview. Okay, so lahat po ng properties ng quadrilaterals, applicable po lahat dyan sa mga shapes na yan na nandito po sa baba. Yung sa kite po, lahat po ng properties niyan, applicable po yan sa rhombus at saka sa square. Okay, mapapansin nyo po yung arrow or line connecting the rhombus to the kite and of course, the square to the rhombus. But, the properties of the kite is not applicable to all uh, to rectangles in general. Okay? So the, there could be a connection, connecting line, pero take note that the, that the direction here is going towards the square and not square going to rectangle. Hindi po ganon. So ganon din po sa parallelogram, lahat po ng properties ng parallelogram, applicable po yan sa rhombus at saka sa rectangle. Okay? Likewise, pati sa square. Yung trapezoid po, applicable po lahat ng properties niya sa isosceles trapezoid. Makikita niyo po lahat yan later on. Okay? Then, of course, gaya po nang sabi ko sa inyo kanina, lahat ng properties ng rhombus at sa rectangle ay applicable po sa square. However, ito na po. Hindi po pwedeng i-apply lahat ng properties ng square sa rectangle. Why? Because sa rectangles po, uh, as a square po, meron pong mga properties yan na wala sa rectangle. Later on, makikita po ninyo yan. Uh, just to give you an example, sa square po, um, yung diagonal po niyan ay perpendicular bisector ng isa't isa. Okay? I-explain ko po yan later on. 
Pero ito over overview muna. So dito sa square, yung diagonals niyan perpendicular bisector ng isa't isa. Samantalang sa rectangle po, hindi mo yan makikita. Okay? Ganun din po sa parallelogram. So, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, as you go down the line, lahat po na nandito sa taas, applicable lahat ng properties niya dito sa baba. Pero not, necess not necessarily na lahat po ng properties kung nandito sa baba ay makikita sa taas, sa mga shapes na nasa taas niya. Okay? So, ganun po. So, going back to parallelograms, so polygon with four sides and four angles. Of course, we have here the parallelogram. Uh, it is a shape with two pairs of parallel sides and opposite two two pairs of opposite sides which are parallel and congruent okay so ito na yon opposite sides are parallel and congruent makikita niyo yan ayan yung nagkulay blue parallel po yan tapos congruent then ibig sabihin po ng parallel no matter how you extend those two line segments they will never ever meet ang saklap di ba so walang chance na magmeet yung dalawang yan Tapos kung growen po siya, in the sense na they have the same size or measurement. Tatandaan po natin yung mga terms na yan. So another one, another pair, is those two lines or line segments ayan, na kulay black. Next one, opposite angles are congruent. Ayan. So yung dalawang angle na yan, congruent sila. Pareho po ng sukat. Likewise, itong dalawang angles na ito, pareho rin po ng sukat. Next one. Adjacent angles are supplementary. Ano ibig sabihin ng adjacent? Magkatabi. So therefore, those two angles are supplementary. Ibig sabihin po ng supplementary, the, the sum of their measures is equivalent to 108... Uh, Tama, 180 degrees. Okay, supplementary yun. Kapag complementary, the sum is equivalent to 90 degrees. Another one, ayan, yung dalawang yan supplementary din. Ah, meron pang isa, isang pares pa, ayan. So, mapapansin nyo, pag pinag-add mo yan, 180 degrees din yan. At ito pa. So, basically, kapag... Lahat po, there are four pairs of uh, angles which are supplementary. Okay. Next, diagonals bisect each other. So, nandyan na po yung diagonals natin. Actually, this is um, a property of all parallelograms. Okay. So, tatandaan po natin yan. Kasi makikita at makikita nyo yan sa mga susunod pa na Figures under parallelograms. Ayun. So bisect meaning it is divided into two congruent uh, line segments. Ayan. So itong kulay red na yan at saka yung kulay blue pareho po ng sukat. Yun po ibig sabihin ng bisect. Okay. Bisected by this other diagonal here. Ayan. Kulay red at saka kulay blue. Okay. And of course, the area is equivalent to base times height. So our base, ito po yun, itong nandito sa baba or pahiga. Tapos yung height po natin, hindi po itong pa-slant, okay? The height is actually the line, the shortest line connecting the two bases. Okay, kung ito yung base po natin, itong kulay blue, dalawa, yung shortest line po, Meaning that that is perpendicular to, to both sides. Okay? Magkakaroon po tayo ng mga examples. Don't worry. So, let's go to rhombus, shall we? Characteristics of rhombus. Polygons with four sides and four angles. Okay, alam na natin yan. Na-discuss po yan sa parallelograms. Ayan.
sum of its interior angles, so equal to 360, opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Okay, nagkulay red, parallel and congruent. Nagkulay dark blue, parallel and congruent. All sides are congruent. Okay, that is a characteristic of rhombus. Ayan, pare-pareho ng sukat yan. Hmm. Parang diamond lang. So, then we have adjacent angles are supplementary. Na-discuss na po yan. Diagons are perpendicular by sector of each other. Ito po yung hindi po natin makikita sa parallelogram. Okay? Uh, hindi po lahat ng parallelograms ay rhombus. Or... Yes. Uh, kasi yung ibang parallelograms could be classified as a rectangle. O kaya simply parallelogram lang siya. So, hindi po lahat ng parallelograms ay rhombus. Pero lahat po ng rhombus could be classified as a parallelogram. So, ibig sabihin po ng perpendicular bisector. Ayan. Meron po tayong Ayan. Itong dalawang diagonal po natin. Okay, let me just have that. Okay. Itong dalawang diagonal natin, they are perpendicular as denoted by this symbol here. Perpendicular meaning that the angle measure is equivalent to 90 degrees. Tapos bisector, that is a property of um, the parallelogram. Next, diagonals bisect opposite angles. Hindi rin po natin makikita yan sa lahat ng parallelograms. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, um, hinahati po ng, bi ng diagonal na ito yung kulay green na angles. So, ibig sabihin, hating kapatid, pareho ng sukat. So, itong kalahati equal doon po sa kabila. Ganoon din po yung kulay yellow na hati po yan equally. Next. Okay. Area equals diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided, uh, divided by 2. So, kung given po yung diagonals, i-multiply lang po yan, then divided by 2. That's it. Let's go back to the chart. Then we have the rectangle. The characteristics of rectangles, polygons with four sides and four angles. Okay, alam na natin yan. Let's cut to the chase. Ito, all angles are right angles. Hindi po lahat ng parallelograms ay meron yan. Rectangles lang po ang meron yan. Ha? At saka square. Okay, ayun. Adjacent angles are supplementary. Siyempre dahil pare-parehong 90 yan, Kahit anong pair ang pagsamahin mo, 180 degrees talaga yan. Kahit nga yung opposite. Eh. Okay? And diagonals are congruent and bisect each other. Ayan. Wala po yan sa rhombus. Hindi po lahat ng parallelogram meron yan. Okay? Rectangle at saka square lang po ang meron yan. Ayun. Umikot-ikot pa para pakita sa inyo na talagang congruent yan. Then the area equals length times width. Let's, go, let's get back to our chart. Ito na, pinaka-special sa lahat. Square. Okay? Inangkin na niya lahat ng properties ng kite, parallelogram, rhombus, and rectangle. Hmm. Mantakin nyo. Lahat ng sides, pare-pareho ng sukat. Then, lahat din angles, pare-pareho ng sukat. Okay? Yung... Pagkakapare-pareho ng sukat ng sides, namanan niya yan sa rhombus. Yung pagkakapare-pareho ng angles, namanan niya yan sa rectangle. Adjacent angles are supplementary. Even opposite angles are supplementary. Diagonals are perpendicular by sector of each other. Namana po niya yan sa rhombus. Okay? Hindi po sa rectangle. Sa rhombus po. Kasi perpendicular by sector. Ayun. Diagonals, bisect opposite angles. Nakuha niya yan sa rhombus. Okay? <laughs> Hindi po sa rectangle. Diagonals are congruent. Saan niya nakuha yan? Rhombus or rectangle? 
rectangle. Next one, area equals s squared. Okay, so s is the variable used to denote the side or the measurement of the side. Let's get back to the kite. Okay, kite. Ayun si kite. Siguro naman kabisadong kabisado niya na kung itsura ng kite. Although, syempre, pagdating sa mga competitions, hindi na lang ganyan po ang itsura ng kite. Maraming klase na. Ang mahalaga lumilipad. Okay? But surely, nung bata kayo, ganyan na ganyan ang concept niya ng kite. Okay. Polygons with four sides and four angles. Some of his interior angles. Namanan niya sa parallelogram. Ito po. At least two pairs of adjacent sides are congruent. Congruent. Alam na po natin ang ibig sabihin. So those two adjacent sides are congruent and those two are also congruent. Uh, we must give importance to the word at least two pairs. Okay? Bakit po? Kasi po, pag naging rhombus po yan, magiging lahat po ng pairs, lahat po ng adjacent sides na pwede nating maisip, magiging congruent po. At least one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Nandun na naman po yung word na at least. Okay? So, nandun po, they are congruent. Pero pa naging rhombus yan, syempre opposite angles will all be, well, all opposite angles will be congruent. The perpendicular bisector of at least one diagonal is the other diagonal. Uh, the, the other diagonal. Again, the at least word. Naipasa po niya yan sa rhombus at saka sa square. Ayan. At least one diagonal bisect opposite angles. So, ayun. Nag-click or nag-blink. Yung diagonal na yan, binabisect na yung kulay green na angle and yung kulay, I don't know, pink ba yan? <laughs> anyway, area equals diagonal 1 diagonal 2 divided by 2 nakuha niya. Uh, yan yung nakuha ng ano, rhombus. Actually, pwede rin gamitin niya ng square. Okay? So, ano, huwag kayong malilito. Pero huwag na huwag niyong gagamitin yan sa rectangle. Okay? Bawal po. <laughs> Next one. Back to chart. Trapezoid. Characteristics of trapezoids. Mm. Polygon with four sides, four angles. Ito po, has one pair of parallel sides called the bases. So sabi ko nga po, that is a characteristic of trapezoids. It has only one pair of parallel sides. But in a certain country, kapag sinabi mong trapezoid, it has at least one pair. So at least na naman. Ibig sabihin, pwede maging two pairs of parallel sides. So bakit kaya ganun, no? Uh, I I'm hoping na meron pong makapanood ng video na ito na coming from uh, the big universities that could explain why. Bakit apay? Apay nga eh. Nga kasjay. Nagdudumadamat. Bakit sila nagkakaiba-iba ng definition? Well, in fact, mathematics should be universal. At least in this planet, Okay. There could be other forms of mathematics in an outside our universe, in outside our uh, planet. But, siempre, as humans, we should have a universal language, which is mathematics. So, yun po, yung kulay yellow. Those are the side, the bases. They are parallel, of course. The median of a trapezoid is parallel to each base, and its length is one half the sum of the bases. So, ayan. At the nagsinabat, meron pong nag-meet yung kulay green at yung kulay red. Nag-meet sila and they are congruent. Okay? Ibig sabihin, they meet at the midpoint. Meron pong midpoint yan. So, nandito po yung midpoint sa meeting point nila. Yung kulay blue at yung kulay yellow. Okay? Then, if you draw a line, that will be the median. And it is parallel to the bases and Kapag kinuha mo yung length niya, that is actually equivalent to one half the sum of the bases. So add this one 
to the other base, the measurement, of course, then you divide it by two, you get the median. Then exactly two pairs of adjacent angles are supplementary. Ayan. Two pairs of adjacent angles which are supplementary. Nasaan kaya yun? Ayun. Supplementary po yung dalawang yan. Tapos, ayan. Then the area equals B1 plus B2 divided by 2 times height. Mabahala na po kayo kung saan nyo po gusto yasan yung B1, B2 na yan. Basta ang mahalaga po, nandito po siya sa base 1 at saka base. Itong dalawang base, okay? Huwag nyo gawa, gagawin na base 1 itong pa-diagonal na yan. Okay? Next, we have the isosceles trapezoid. Characteristics, lahat ng characteristics ng trapezoid nakuha niya. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Ito yung wala doon sa non-isosceles trapezoids. Diagonals are congruent. Okay. Pareho po ng sukat yan. Then, base angles are congruent. Base angle po yung dalawang yan. Tapos, yan din po. Then, the legs are congruent. Taran. Ayan. Yung kung nagkulay black. And the area is just the same. So, if you have any questions, you can actually comment your questions the comment section. If you want to copy those uh, notes that I have given during my discussion, you may replay the video. Actually, mas maganda nga kung i-download mo muna bago mo panoorin para makatipid ka naman sa ano. Uh, sa data. Okay? Kasi pag masyado kang nagtatagal sa isang video, uh, that will cost you a lot of data. Pero kapag dinownload mo muna siya, minsanan na. Okay? So, ganun po. So, if you have any questions, you may write that in the comment section. And you have uh, if you were enlightened by the video, please don't forget to subscribe. And salamat po. And I hope you have learned something from this video. Coming up po sa mga susunod po na video natin is how to solve problems involving quadrilaterals. So stay tuned. Sana po na click nyo yung notification bell para po ma-notify po kayo kung kapag meron tayong panibagong video. That's all. I thank you.